Hello everyone, this is Paul from DLT Trading, and today I just want to do a quick video on how to mount a tech lock. This is something I've taken for granted, and I've had some people ask me, what do you actually do with the tech lock? How does it work? How do you mount it? So we're just going to go over that real quick. So this is made by Blade Tech. It is a very, uh, very good product for securing a, a belt sheath, or in some cases, holsters. So in our application, since we sell knives, we're going to just talk about sheaths today. So the first question uh, I get is, how does it actually work? So this is a, the large tech lock. So in the back, there's the mounting holes that you would mount to your sheath. The large tech lock does have a lock on the bottom. So once you put on your belt, you can lock that up and there's no way to open this. When it's unlocked, you just pinch the sides and it's, you can notice here by the so it's jimping on the side, pinch, pinch those and pull it up. On the inside, it does. It is adjustable for uh, varying belt sizes. If you do wear an inch and a larger than an inch and a half, so in my case, I, I wear an inch and three quarter belt. You have to use the large tech lock. If you have an inch and a half or less, you can use a small tech lock. So the applications do vary. Uh, with the sheaths, the Kedex sheaths that we sell, uh, typically the larger knives are large tech lock only, whereas a small sheath like this ringtail Kydex sheath will do it for uh, small, which is one inch, center to center, one inch, or a large tech lock, which is inch and a half, which is these two outer, these two here. So the description of our, our sheaths will say what they're compatible with. So if you're uh, using a Kydex sheath made by someone else, just check the specs. So again, the center to center, um, is, so this is three quarters of an inch, and obviously the inch and a half to the outside. One of the other things I get question quite a bit is why can't I mount four holes four holes so this is a relatively large sheet this is for a Bravo survivor and for large knives like this there's just n absolutely no way you're gonna get a mounting on this side and all the way to this side obviously there's just too much blade height here and on smaller knives you sometimes have to artificially make the sheath wider to fit so it's in most cases you're only gonna come down the spine side or if you wanted to come on the leading edge it'd be your, your choice but you're only going to come down one side and not horizontally it's just the way it works out and there's not much you can do about it so we'll look at the contents of what comes with the tech lock it does come with mounting hardware so there's chicago posts uh, rubber offsets and screws so we're just, i'm just going to show it with a two mount a two screw application so you're going to take your chicago screws put them to the back and I like to just put the spacers on right away so that I'll actually hold the Chicago screw in place so there's not much fiddling around. We'll get our extras out of the way. So if you notice most Kydex sheaths are 50-50 split so you're going to have blade protrusion from the top side and the back side. So the offsets are here to take up, take up the gap. So just line it up with the holes, uh, pretty simple there. Line it up from the top and put your screws in. Now you will want to tighten these down, I'm just going to throw these on there uh, as best I can with my Swiss Army knife, just for illustration purposes. And if you're really worried about it, you could put a, a dab of blue Loctite, definitely don't use red Loctite, uh, use blue if you did want to use some thread locker. So that's how it's going to look mounted. And again, you could, like, I'm there a little bit crooked, but tighten that up. You could do use your third mounting hole if you wanted to. So that's your choice. So that's how it's going to work. So then belt passes through here. And I do have just a quick belt that I can show you guys. So this, this setup, this belt is relatively wide. I believe this is a two inch belt. So it's not, not going to fit. So that's why they have these inserts here. So you just pop these off and put that on here, lock it down. So that's that's how it's gonna look when it's on the belt. Then throw your throw your lock over the top, and that is 100 percent secure, it's not coming off. So then if you want to take it off, just undo the lock and pinch the sides. It's a little bit awkward to do this in a video, so then there you go. And it's 
really all there is to it. It, it is easier to pinch these when it's on your belt and you get a little bit better vantage point rather than the video, but you guys get the, get the point. So very, very secure. And it's just a different mounting method. Uh, for our Kydex sheaths, we do have a uh, fixed drop loop. Some people don't like that. The, one of the reasons uh, some people like the knife to ride a little bit higher, so this will ride a little bit higher on your belt compared to the drop loop that we have. It's also nice, the tech lock is, because you don't have to take your belt off. So with the included one, you do have to thread your belt through it. So some people don't particularly like that. So just another option for you guys. And even if you don't have one of our Kydex sheets and you're not really sure how the tech lock works, um, happy to do the video. If you guys have any other questions on accessories like these or other products we have, please post in the comments below and we'll be happy to uh, get a video done for you guys. Thank you.